Hello children, how are you all? I hope all of you fine. Welcome to our digital class. Today we are going to discuss about expansion of chest with each breath and how much air in your breath. Children, what are the primary needs for us? We know that there are three terms are very useful to us. The first one is air, second one is water, third one is food. Children, we know that people may survive without food for several days. They go on a fast or hunger strike out. But during time that they drink some water, other liquid at least once a day. But what about you, air children? Yes, air is most important primary need for everyone. Without air, nothing on earth. So, before going to the topic, we discuss what is breathing. What is breathing? The process by which air goes in and out of our body is called breathing. The process of breathing in air is called inspiration and that of breathing out air is called expiration. Okay children, do you understand? Okay ma, children. What are the changes in your body when breathing process? Okay, let us do a small activity. Children, all of you observe this activity. Required materials, a length of measuring tape. Take a, a length of a measuring tape. Wrap the tape around the chest of one of your friends and measure the width of chest. Hold the tape lightly to breathe in and out deeply a few seconds. Have you understood this activity children? Now question is do you find any difference between measurements? Yes, we find that different measurement the process of breathing that the chest expand. Children, do you know respiratory organs in human are lungs? When we inhale the chest wall moves up and expand. These cause a, an increase in the volume of the chest cavity. When we exhale the chest wall is lowered and moves inward. This cause an increase and decrease in the volume of the chest cavity. Okay ma'am. Children, what do you learn in this activity? Okay, we learned that chest expand when air is inhaled it reaches the lungs. So, chest expand. The mechanism of chest expand we will discuss in higher classes. Okay, ma? You know how much air in your breath? Now, let us do a small activity to find the how much air in our breath. The required materials are 2 liter of plastic bottle and 100 ml of plastic bottle, rubber tube and bucket of water. First of all, prepare a measuring cylinder. Take a 2 liter of plastic bottle and 100 ml plastic bottle. Pour the 100 ml of water in the bottle and mark the water level after each addition, mark water level. The measuring cylinder is ready. Now, fill the bottle to the brim and 
inward in a bucket of water. But remember children, no air bubbles, no air bubble should remain in the bottle after invert it. Insert one end of a rubber tube into the mouth of the bottle under water. Hold the other end of the tube in your hand. Now inhale as much air as you can and blow the air into the measuring cylinder through the rubber tube. Blow out as much air as you can in a single breath. This air will collect in the measuring cylinder. As a result, the water level in the cylinder will fall. The reduction in water level is equal to air you breathe. Have you understood children? Okay, so let us recall children what we have learnt. When air is inhaled, it reaches the lungs, the chest expands. How much air in our breath, we find out that air. Children, improve learning. Improve your learning. The first question is, what happens to your chest when you take a breath? Second one, find out the amount of air the other, your group, breathe out in a single breath and compare this amount. Okay, ma? We will discuss another topic later. Thank you.